What's up? My name is Doug, the Bearded Outdoorsman. Welcome to another video. If you enjoy beard product reviews, gear reviews, EDC videos, then you have definitely come to the right channel. Today, we're going to take a look at the Venture Pal 40 liter backpack, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on this bag. So, stay tuned through the intro. <music> Welcome back. So, the Venture Pal 40 liter backpack. All right, so I picked this little guy up um, on Amazon, and you can pick it from 11 colors you can pick from. This one is a gray. Um, it packs down into itself. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, so, a folded size is 6.6 .6 inches by 1.9 inches by 8.2 inches, open and fully expanded. It's 12 inches wide, 6 inches um, thick, and uh, 19 inches tall. So, it's about 19 inches tall there. So, I have this bag packed as my get-home bag. It stays in my toolbox on my truck. However, I've used it for various other things. Now, if you want to see, I'm not going to go through everything I have in it today. I'm going to clean it out in just a second and, and do the review. Uh, but if you want to see everything that I've got loaded down in this bag, I'll put a card up top. You can go check that video out where I did the uh, get home bag uh, showing you what I had in this for the uh, toolbox on my truck. So give me a minute. I'm going to get this thing stripped down and emptied out and then I'll come back and I'll show you everything about this bag. So stay tuned. Are you enjoying this video if you are make sure you hit that thumbs up button make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already and uh yeah make sure you do that all right so i've got it emptied out this is it empty so you can see that i did leave my life straw in this pocket there just because i've got it wrapped around the compression strap it was a little bit hard to to get it out but you've got two mesh pockets one on either side with an elastic top you've got four compression straps two on either side you've got two main compartments well, you've got one main compartment, a front pocket. Um, you've got the sternum straps um, with the built-in whistle. Does have D-rings on your straps and um, nylon strapping there that you can attach a carabiner to, whatever. It is fully adjustable. The pads aren't that thick, so this is definitely not a hiking backpack. This is a day pack. This is a travel bag. This is a, a bug out bag, get home bag, something like that. It's not going to be used for like really long hiking trips or anything like that just because the, the straps aren't built for that all right so you've got a handle up top um while we're at the back you have this pocket here this zipper here this is a what they call a wet pocket or it could be a dry pocket according to what you're using your bag for so if you end up somewhere and a piece of your gear or clothing gets wet and you don't want to get anything else wet you can put it in this pocket if you want to keep stuff dry and you know it's going to rain, you can keep it dry here. But this is a very large plastic, really thick. This feels about seven mil on the, the plastic thickness, um, but it just goes down into the main compartment by my zipper. And it goes down into the main compartment, way down here. That's how big this waterproof dry pocket, wet pocket is. It's, it's pretty deep and it's pretty big. And your access is from the outside, so you don't have to worry about what's in your bag to get access to this pocket. So that's really nice, so I like that. Um, now, before anybody comments and asks, there is no laptop pocket. I wouldn't put a laptop in here unless I had like a, like a neoprene laptop sleeve to put it in and then put in here. There's no extra padding for a laptop. It's not built for that. But if you needed to carry one for travel, get you an add-on like a neoprene or something laptop sleeve, and then you can put it in here. Um, so you also have an inside pocket here. Now this entire bag will fit into this pocket here. Um, but you can unzip and you can use this for, for small items. But your whole, this whole backpack will fit in here for travel. So if you want to pack it and use it when you get where you're going, there you go. You can pack it down here and put it in your luggage. Um, so you got that. On the front of your main compartment, on the inside, you have just a little open pocket there that's pretty deep. I mean, you can see it's 
that deep. <laughs> Uh, so that goes down the front. There's no way to close that. It's just an open drop-in pocket. And that is it on the inside. All right, so let's zip that one up. Now to the next compartment, or the other compartment. It zips about as far down as your main compartment. And it's all the way down to the bottom too. You have another slide drop-in pocket here, no closure. Um, it's not as deep. It's about five inches deep, maybe. Um, you can see it goes to right here. So it's just a rectangle pocket there. Um, and then on the front, you could add shock cord. You've got these six little um, nylon tags here that are reflective, but you could add some shock cord to that if you wanted to and, um, and have a little bit of an exterior um, place there to put a, a jacket or whatever um, you do have trekking pole straps what those are normally used for um, but you do have those on there you got like I said six com or four compression straps this is a really nice bag for the price now retail on this is gonna run you $34 now since I've had it I didn't pay $34 and since I've had it I've watched it because I've been planning on doing this review for a while uh, but I have watched it and it has gone fluctuated in price gone down been on sale had coupon codes that kind of thing Now I'm gonna try. Let me just take this straw out I wasn't going to but I don't even know how I have it on here exactly Let's See if I can get it off Because uh, I had no way to really attaching it so i just wrap the cord of this life straw around the compression strap it's not something you would need in a hurry um so it wasn't that big of a deal all right so we got that off now let's zip this up and so our pocket here you just reverse and you pack it in so and honestly I haven't done this since I got the bag so it's gonna be a, a learning curve but it, I know it does I've had a pack like this before so let's zip as much as we can and start packing a little finagling and wedging and if I wasn't trying to do this on camera and trying to be a little more methodical with it say I had more time I could probably do it a little bit nicer but there is your backpack Got a carry handle have a zipper venture pal 40 liter backpack so i like it it's a ripstop nylon it's really durable um i i just can't say enough i mean for 34 bucks um when i bought it i think i paid about 25 dollars for it and it packs down go look go watch my video if if you don't watch the card i'll put it in the end screen go watch my video of all the stuff i have packed in this bag for my get home bag that goes in my toolbox on my truck and you'll be blown away so there it is the venture pal 40 liter backpack you can find it on amazon 11 different colors to choose from this one is gray um so there you go that's all i've got for today if you got any questions drop them in the comments below and yeah until next time stay bearded get outdoors and god bless